Where Can I Meet the Lord and the Angels? Part 1. Reverend Dr. Holly Namo Kyun, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namo Kyun Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now, she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bong Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Many people want to meet you. Where can they find you? I exist everywhere. It does not mean that I am an impersonal being like the air. It means I am omnipresent, transcending time and space. I am a being of character who can be anywhere and anytime without any limitations of time and space. And I reside in the heart which is constructed into my temple. Furthermore, if someone specially invites me, I can manifest myself regardless of the place and time. I can go where they welcome me and desire me. If that place is holy and pure, I can go with gladness even more so. It is the same for the angels. I always move with the angels. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan, and was with the wild beasts. And the angels ministered to him. Mark 1 verse 13. I always move with the angels. It is similar to a president making a trip with an entourage of bodyguards escorting him. A president cannot go anywhere by himself. There is always an escorting team who accompanies. For the head of state, it is especially thorough. There are times when I dispatch the angels only. But wherever I go, the angels are with me. Those angels serve me wherever I am. They are with me when I minister. Therefore, with the knowledge that where I am, the angels are also present, welcome me and my armies with secure heart. Where my glory is manifested, worship. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Psalm 96 verse 8. I do not go where humans are revealed, but where they lift up my name and reveal my glory, I go with delight. The church must meet in my name, disperse in my name, and be led in my name. Worship ought to exalt me and glorify me. If a church is led by the agendas from staff meetings, it is no different from worldly organizations where human is a master. A church ought to be where I am the master. If several elders and deacons control, I do not exist at such places. Elder it is a holy duty and one ought to serve from a humble position. But if it became a position of honor without faith, and lead the church, I have already left that church. Where there is a family worship. Where there is a family worship, I go to assist the priest, parent, whom I have commissioned. And I answer the prayer of the priest so that he may not be ashamed. But where there is no family worship, I do not interfere with the education of their children nor finances because they manage with worldly knowledge. It is a prideful family with a message that they do not need my help. 
they only rely on the common sense to lead a home. For churches, I do not visit where there is no true worship nor prayers. Because the friendly relations manager, pastor, led a church like a social gathering with worldly knowledge and methods. Where there is no prayer, it means they do not need me and I do not need to interfere. Where they seek me and welcome me, took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel, John 12, verse 13. I look for a place where they welcome me in my word, as they have welcomed me shouting Hosanna. I told my disciples to shake off the dust and leave if they do not greet the gospel. I go to these places where they welcome me with innocent of a child, where they greet me with a poor heart, and most of all, where they consider me precious and welcome me. I am at such places, even my angels. Where two or three are gathered to pray. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Matthew 18, verse 20. I am always present where two or three are gathered in my name. Therefore, if your family members are gathered to pray, I will visit your home with gladness. And if husband and wife pray together, I am definitely there and the angels record the contents of the prayer. There is anointing present because the Messiah, the anointed, is with them. Their corporate prayer will move the heaven and earth. Where the word is. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, verse 1 through 3. When I preached on a mountain, many people gathered and listened to my sermon. The word is myself. Where the word is present, I am there. I am also present at the communion where they share the bread of life. Where there is my flesh and blood, I am with you. Where the word is present, Satan cannot invade because they have been totally destroyed by the power of the word. Since Satan especially fears the truth, he cannot come near the word. Even in Galilee, those who wanted to meet me came to find me wherever I preach, either mountains or fields. Wherever there is the word and the communion, I am with you during that time. Where there is praise and thanksgiving in spite of. Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Acts 16, verse 24 and 25. Where there is praise, I also reside joyfully with the angels, since praise is similar to heavenly breathing and the air. Praise has the power to move heaven to earth. And what kind of praise is more joyful? It is the in spite of praise of Paul, which he rendered in jail while he was in suffering. The reason why Paul gave thanksgiving and praise was that my gospel was preached and my will was done instead of his own. Since I was with him, the impossible happened. The earth shook and the jail gates were wide open, didn't they? Can you render such praise and thanksgiving? In Hebrew, menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamo TV, 
news from heaven. Thank you for watching this video.